<laughs> okay, go. Okay, morning campers and welcome to the um, Burger Mo Show, though we may need to change the name, Gina will get into this. Um, <laughs> today we're joined by some lovely special guests and we're going to be talking all about um, the tidbits that we've learned so far with a little bit of the doTERRA convention. So Gina, take it away, love. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I will warn you all that I feel like we're all a little bit discombobulated and but we are excited to share what we have learned in the first couple days of convention um, with you. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to start with a little bit about how this company got started and and they shared this story and I shared it on my Facebook page but maybe some people don't see it and but um, this company started because, well, a lot of the founders were already involved in essential oil companies and <clears throat> they weren't satisfied with the oils. Oh, wait, who am I meeting? I'm going to meet you all or, or just mute yourself. Um, just so we don't have the feedback. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So they weren't satisfied with the oils and they knew they could find better because oils come from plants and there's nothing added to them, right? And that's what they wanted was <clears throat> a pure unadulterated oil from the plant. And so they came together and they brought their like pennies that they had um together and they didn't take what i thought was really cool was they talked about how they met with these big investors in new york and they went to this big meeting and they presented their their company's idea um these three to four people and this big investor was like we'll give you five million dollars like we think this is a great you know opportunity we think what you have is gonna be great whatever and they walked out of there and they said but wait a second like if we let these people give us their money, they're going to want control. They're going to want to do it their way. They're going to, you know, and they didn't want that. And so they decided we're not going to take their money. We're going to pool together what we have. We're going to, you know, take out whatever equity we have on our house. We're going to cash in our 401k. And so they pooled their little bit of money together. And these people didn't get paid for like 13 months. So they took 13, no, yeah. 13 months no income and then it was right when the recession hit in 2008 so then it was like you know all this stress on their families and the kids you know couldn't do their sports or their dance classes and so it was all this sacrifice for these people to find these pure oils and it was a really neat story and so i i wanted to share that because it, this company really did start from <laughs> Um, the ground and with nothing from nothing really, you know, and they just had this passion and they just persevered through all these challenges. And, and from that, from day one, it was all about the purity of the oil. And so they have never strayed from that. And they talked about how like there are thousands and thousands of, of decisions that have been made through the development of this company and through the last 11 years that they, you know, they're always making these decisions on, but no, we want the purity and, and that's our goal. Right. And so, so, and they don't, they don't stray from that and they haven't and they won't. And that's why sometimes we don't have oils or we don't have products because it's not the best, um, you know, quality level. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that, about the testing and, and all that. But I wanted to share that story because it, it like, I had never heard parts of that story. And when they shared that, I thought it was really moving. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Bex, do you want to mention what you said about like um, transparency, what you were saying about that? Yeah, yeah. So um, I really, I think, I think what really hit home with me in that first like, couple of days of watching the convention was, um, and, and I've been going to convention, this would have been my third year, so I'm still kind of a newbie really. And, but I've heard a lot of the information or certain elements before, but I think what really rang true with me, um, and you'll discover this through the call today, is that they're very concerned with 
doing the right thing. And I know it's called, it's pursue what's pure. And so everything, you know, hashtag pursue what's pure. But um, they truly are trying to identify where the oils are um, naturally thriving. They're harvesting them. They're doing it in the right way. And they're trying, I love the phrase, both sides of the bottle. They're stewards of what, of what nature provides for us. And I just, I love the idea that they're trying to help and do everything right through the growing, the harvesting, then the, um, whether they're cold pressing or their steam distillation and they're getting that essential oil, but then when they're bottling it and then actually selling it, they're just trying to do the right thing and they do just the next best thing straight away. Um, and so I really enjoyed on that second day that they were talking about how uh, they brought, they brought specialists in um, from different universities. They're not particularly affiliated with doTERRA, but they're specialists in their area or in aromatherapy or uh, the efficacy of oils. Because I don't know if you know this, but because um, the FDA doesn't kind of govern the natural health realm, there's nobody mandating the contents of what's in a bottle of oils. And so if you don't mandate and govern yourself, nobody's going to do it for you. And doTERRA are pretty concerned about this because whether you're buying doTERRA essential oils or your essential oils from Sprouts, they want you to know what you're getting. And doTERRA do a wonderful job of teaming up um, with companies or institutes or universities and research labs to identify what is in the bottle and whether it is or it is not 100% pure as it's claiming to be, uh, which kind of leads me on to the difference between what is contamination and adulteration. So we all know the general idea of what um, contamination is. I mean, we've all... Um, you just experience it day in, day out, right? Like, so if you're trying to grow something and there's rain runoff and your neighbor use pesticides, but you don't, the, the runoff of rain will cause the pesticides to come down into your soil. Potentially your tomatoes will have pesticides. Um, and so that's, um, that's, that's contamination. There's really not much we can do about it. However, when we test for it uh, at the end of the process, we don't use that product, right? If you identify a pesticide, you're just not going to use it, which is what doTERRA does. But these things happen and you can't exactly rule them out 100% of the time because things happen. The quality of soil changes. Um, um, so, you know, I mean, right now with California and all the fires, with all the smoke in the air, you know, I mean, our air, can, air, air quality is not great. It's nothing that we've done. You know, it's nothing that we can really prevent, but so we just have to move through it. We have to accept it and, and make things as good as we can. Anyway, so um, that would be contamination, whereas adulteration is where um, <clears throat> intentionally you're taking a product and you're changing the chemical constituents within it. All right. So, for example, there was an... Can I talk about the Bergamo thing now? Yeah. Okay. So... <clears throat> doTERRA had um, all of these specialists online um, live streaming at the same time. And there was one particular lady from oh, the south of Italy and her family were citrus specialists. They weren't particularly citrus specialists for doTERRA. Uh, doTERRA do buy their oils, but they didn't work like they're not, they're not owned by doTERRA or, or anything like that. They sell to whoever wants to purchase basically. Um, but it was very interesting listening to this lady who's grown up in this industry. It's her family business. And she was talking about how um, bergamot, uh, bergamot, we now say apparently, is um, it's, it's a very popular oil and it's harvested in um, the south of Italy. And three, I wrote the numbers down, 3,000 metric tons of essential, 100% pure essential oil. Is it 3,000 or 300? 300. <clears throat> Sorry. So three, I don't have my notes. I don't know what I turned to. So I think it's 3,000. Was it? No, it was 300. So. <clears throat> no, it was 300. And it was 100,000. Whatever. <laughs> so, three, so 300 metric tons of 
essential oil were recorded as being extracted, that pure essential oil um, were recorded as being produced. However, there was a hundred thousand metric tons. A thousand metric tons. Sweet Jesus. Okay, so 300 were recorded as being produced. A thousand metric tons um, were, there was evidence of a thousand metric tons being marketed um, it, like on the Italian market and sold. As pure. As pure. And so there's like a 700 um, metric ton. The word metric is throwing me off for some reason. I really don't know why. Um, there was a 700 metric ton difference between the pure oil that was actually extracted and then the amount of oil that was sold as though it was 100% pure. So, I mean, apparently I'm a math, math whiz. Um, but I know that does not add up. Like there's a 700 metric ton, did I nail it, difference which means that somebody is intentionally in a lab basically going into that pure oil and adding synthetics and fillers to then sell it as an essential oil that's 100 percent natural and doTERRA tests many 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 times so that we know that we're not getting the one that's been adulterated we're actually getting that pure essential oil um <clears throat> the other interesting um, product that they talked about was clove. And I can't remember where they got clove, but it's from a very, it's a third world country. It's a very developing country. And Madagascar. Yeah, man. Thank you, Madagascar. Um, and so clove was, um, uh, the interesting thing about clove is that you can get the oil from three different parts of the plant. You can get it from the bud, the leaves, and the stem which is interesting because normally when you're extracting the essential oil, you get it from one certain place, like with the rose, it's from the petals. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so um, the interesting thing about clove is that the most concentrated um, part of the oil that you want to extract from is the bud. Okay, but because you can, and so that's the most precious form of the essential oil. It, the chemical constituents are higher, they're more... Um, impactful coming from the bud and so if you're pulling them from other parts of the plant even though they're considered to be 100 percent pure they don't have the same chemical constituents but what they're finding is that um the doTERRA essential oil with clove and i have that here which is interesting i don't know why it's sat on my desk um is from the clove bud however um they're actually, there's a middleman who's basically extracting the oil from all the different parts of the plant and reducing the chemical constituents from the clove bud with the essential oil that's coming from the leaves and the stem. And they're selling that as 100% pure as well. And so you just really need to know what you're using um, and the transparency of doTERRA and the way that they're doing all of this research with all of these specialists and all these companies, it's out there for everybody. So whether you're using doTERRA or not, they want you to know what you're using and I just really like it I like that they're doing it for the better good I learned last year that they actually go out and teach all frankincense harvesters how to harvest from a tree correctly because they're killing the tree otherwise and whether they work for they you know they did they sell to doTERRA or not doTERRA want to know that they're protecting those trees for future harvests. And so they've taught, they've been out and they've taught everybody how to do it correctly. And it's made such a difference because the trees were dying, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I, I just really like that about them, that they're kind of selfless and it's not the cheapest way to do it, but it's the right way to do it. So I, I love one of, one of my favorite founders, his name is David Sterling. And he's like this, like, he just is like a dad, you know, like, I just want to hug him, right? Like, he's just so calm and he talks and, and they were doing this panel and all the founders were telling um, their favorite oils and they were just talking about different stuff, chit chatting. And, <laughs> and then they were talking about kind of like money stuff, you know, and he's like, well, this is definitely not the cheapest way to do it, you know? And it just made me laugh because he's like, basically we spend a lot of money and time and effort to <laughs> to make sure it's pure but no it's not the easiest cheapest way to do it and he sort of was like well oh, like you know we're spending a lot of money but it's all worth it <laughs> for us um yeah. <clears throat> yeah 
Does anybody else, um, Lauren, do you want to add anything to the adulteration? Like any key? Any yeah. Key? Okay. Um, they also said about re regarding Clovebud that doTERRA is the only company in the world that is producing specifically Clovebud pure <clears throat> unadulterated oil. Obviously, they talked about a lot of other companies say that they are, but specifically through testing, they've proven that they are the only one doing it. Um, do you want me to talk about the scientists, about the English lavender? Sure. Or no? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So there was a panel of three scientists. Um, one was named Mark Blumenthal. He, was, he runs the Amana American Botanical Society. Then there was Dr. Satyal, who is um, an adulteration researcher for APRC. Y'all can look that up. And then there was Dr. Osgo Thorpe, who is a pediatric infectious disease specialist, and he's also on doTERRA's staff. I think he runs the Prime Meridian uh, he's situation. He's chief medical officer, I think, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> right. He took so, to Hill's place. Yeah, so they also talked about when they were doing about adulteration, they were talking about English lavender, which is doTERRA's favorite um, species of lavender. <clears throat> and um, in July, the American Botanical Society, who is completely separate from doTERRA, it has nothing to do with them, but they had their expert on to talk about this, did a, uh, released a bulletin that was peer reviewed with 25 experts and 101 references that shows definitive proof that lavender is adulterated. Most lavender on the market is adulterated. And yeah. it said, they said that up to two thirds of um, lavender on the market are poor quality and highly adulterated. Um, and then they said that, do that doTERRA's lavender is the gold standard of lavender on the market. It is obviously 100% pure, completely unadulterated. And so, um, labs use doTERRA's lavender as the comparison placebo to test all of the other lavenders on the market to see if they're pure or not. Wow. I thought that was fascinating. That was so um, cool. And then they highlighted, I guess like last year or this year, I'm not sure when, because the news this year, I don't know. But there was a report that came out about lavender oil um, affecting hormone changes with boys and boys were growing breasts. Yeah, this and was a couple of years ago, Lauren, and actually Rady okay. Children's Hospital, which is a local hospital here to San Diego, was part of the study. Oh, wow. So you, okay. you guys, I mean, I definitely, this came up with me in a couple of classes and I was like, what? Oh, so yeah. Go ahead, Lauren, tell us about right. it. Right. So was, anyway, really interesting. Um, they came out with this study that said that the effects of lavender oil on boys was him having them grow breasts. So... Mm -hmm. That American Botanical Society that I talked to you about already um, is in the middle of doing a peer-reviewed study on that case specifically. Um, and he obviously was like, it's not released yet, but this is what we found so far. And it's that no lavender oil was in any of the products that the boys were using. It was all synthetic fragrance. Yeah. And so I'm really excited for them to release that oil because it will, or that report because it will be beneficial for us to be like, no, actually it's just proven. Um, and that's not the case of what was affecting all of the boys' hormones changes. Right. Yeah. Because synthetic. that study has come up over and over like, yeah. right. Oh, but did you hear about, Oh, but did you hear about, you know? And so right. Right, the fact that they're finally, you know, doing the research to disprove that is, um, is really yeah. good. Yeah. And our, right. our chief medical officer, what well, I forget his name always, Dr. Oz. Osgo Thorpe. Yeah. Osgo he, Thorpe. Um, Dr. Oz. That's not the right one though. Dr. O, he, yeah. Um, he, he was like, why would you claim my why would you make a claim and then publish an article when you actually don't mention the correct information? And it was published and approved and it's out there and it's it is crazy that they literally just made this massive sweeping claim that yes, lavender will make boys go grow breasts. I know, right? It is crazy. Right. I was yeah. like, oh no. <clears throat> well, mine haven't, but okay. Yeah, I think yeah. she was on with us too. Um, so we are throwing a lot of science at you and and it's probably, you. I don't know, maybe your brains are spinning a little bit, but it just, it shows you that this is, like serious stuff. It's not just let's 
throw some oil in a bottle and, you know, sell it to people. It is like the amount of science and research that they do is crazy. Like we could go on for days, but we don't want to overwhelm you completely. No. And if anybody has any questions, oh, there's a chat. This call is Carla. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, if you have any questions, please, please stop us. And we'll, we'll try not to bore you too much with a lot more science, but, but we love it. We love the science and we love the research and it, it you know, it just, it, it makes it real for, for us. <clears throat> so I, we're going to talk a little bit about, um, I don't know, maybe just a few tidbits um, more on immunity because that was a big um, topic. And you will see one of the new products. I know some of you are excited to, to hear more about the new products and we are going to talk about them. But one of the topic, our new products is based on immunity and, and all, you know, surround, you know, it's just, it's, it's all about our immunity and especially because it's such a, a big topic right now anyway. But Dr. O, Dr. Osgathorpe, who is, which I love, a pediatric infectious disease specialist. And so he, you know, has worked, spent his life working with kids with infectious diseases and how, you know, to help cure them. And now he's working with doTERRA and he believes in these oils and the power they have, which I think is so cool. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, he talked a lot about immune, the immune system. And, and we talked about this before. Bex presented this on our innate immune system, which is our general immune response, right? And then also our adaptive immune response, which is more complex and specialized. <clears throat> and um, so we're not going to go too much into this again, but I thought one good point I thought, and, and we're all going to maybe share um, a point that we really got from this presentation again, was um, within our adaptive immune system, there's the B, to, B cells and the T cells, and they recognize, you know, antigens that come into our body and they um, attack that or they, you know, let our system know that this is here and it needs to, you know, be it needs to go away, right? One of the things I thought was really cool, and I did some research on this um, surrounding the coronavirus, and I was like, okay, wait, like I wanted to know the antibody situation and what was happening, like why were they not finding antibodies in people? And so I did, I did a little research on my own. But um, what I thought was really cool that he mentioned was, um, for one, uh, immune memory. So our system, our body has immune memory. So if someone did have the coronavirus, they, your body, even though they're maybe not finding these, um, you know, they're not finding a lot of the um, antigen, what do we, we, antibodies, they're not finding them, but it's in there, right? And <clears throat> our immune system will turn it back on and recognize something that has already come into your body. It has a memory <clears throat> for what it had eaten and how to fight that particular pathogen. Okay, so it makes future responses against the same threat more effective. So I thought that was really cool um, that he, he talked about that. <clears throat> and that our T cells recognize infected cells and eliminate the cell and then recruit an army that triggers a self-destruction sequence. <laughs> Yeah. So I thought that was really, you know, because there is all this, like, why are people getting the, you know, the virus again and again? And, but our body will remember it and it will fight it. Does anybody else have a, a favorite moment from the immunity? Favorite moment? Well, you know me. Um, I like it all. I remember them saying immun immunity is your hero. I was like, yes, it is, my friends. Yes, it is. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, like Gina, I mean, honestly, I don't have anything different to say because Gina mentioned, like we already did that presentation so we can find that and, and watch it again. It's on the YouTube channel. Um, but the difference between your innate and your adaptive immunity and how your innate is your immediate reaction. Like it's, it's your skin barriers. It's, um, it's, it's the general response. Whereas, um, your innate is, it's more complex, it's more specialized. And so that's the thing that we really need to, um, work on. Um, I was yeah. super interested, um, 
and I don't have a lot of details because I want to watch all this again uh, in my garage. My door's open, so now I'm waving to neighbors. Um, but the, the synergy of oils and how um, each, so different oils have different chemical constituents that have different emotional and uh, physical benefits for us. But when you use different oils together, this, the synergism of how they work together and can almost like um, surge each other on was really interesting to me. And I don't have much more on that other than um, it was fascinating and you've got to watch it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and that sort of leads to um, a little tidbit I wanted to talk about, which is a study that was originally done in 2015. Um, mm. Yeah, and 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 what they we and we've heard about the story. It was with On Guard and I think some oregano and clove. Um, well, it was 20 different oils, <clears throat> but they wanted to look at specifically how these oils worked at the cellular level. And what was yeah. really um, something she brought up that was really cool was that um, this study was the first of its kind because they um, developed in a Petri dish multiple different types of cellular systems. So it wasn't yeah. just like kidney cells or whatever. It was like kidney and liver and digestive system or whatever together. So they, they, they developed in a single dish, these systems, and then they watched how the cells interact with each other and they interact. It, and they talked about like, you know, if you send a puppy into a group of women, women, they're going to react differently than if you sent a group, a puppy into a group of children. Right. So they're saying that like these cells, no matter how, how they're packaged in these different systems react differently in different ways. Um, so, mm -hmm. um, and this was the first time that this has ever been done and they, and, and doTERRA does not test on animals. So they created these, you know, cell Petri dishes, but the whole thing was like, you know, what did she say? She, she said something and I thought it was really mm -hmm. cool. She's like, somebody has to, to do the research. Oh, this is what, this is what it was like. So if they want to eventually research on humans, somebody has to do this first research in a Petri dish to, to, um, to show the efficacy and to show like how it's working and that sort of thing. And then they can move on to doing it in a human study. And so I love that they're starting this process, right? So that then we can eventually do it in human study and, and that's still terror. They lead from the front. Like yeah. they don't follow the cute little bandwagon of what's fashionable and trendy. They're like, how are we going to make a difference? How are we going to continue to pursue what's pure? And how are we going to really change lives with these products? And I just love that about them. Like they're just very, they're just leaders. They're just pioneers in the industry, really. Well, and I think like us, like they want to know why and how, and, and, then, and then they want to tell other people right? Like this, like we've actually studied this. This is not just because it's how we feel. It's because of science. The actual chemical reaction. <laughs> scientific science. evidence. Are you going to talk about the actual study, Gina? Yeah. Well, I just, I just, um, so anyway, they had these multiple cell types and all these different, I think they had like eight different ones. And then they wanted to see what happened when the oil was introduced. Right. Yeah. And so how did this cells interact? when the oil was introduced. And so basically that what they did was they increased the inflammation in these Petri dishes. They increased the stress on these cells and then they introduced the oils. Oh, it's four different cell systems, sorry. They introduced the oils into these cell systems and the oils show, showed multiple activities on the cellular level. So they showed that um, the oil, when the oil was introduced, it helped the cells balance out, right? It helped the cells revive. It helped the cells um, repair and get to a non-stress state. Mm -hmm. And then it also turned up gene expression that encouraged healthy cell function. So basically it affected the genes and how the genes were reacting to this stress. So it, they saw all these positive improvements and go up and then they saw the negative um, responses go down yeah. when these oils yeah. were introduced. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. And if you do have a convention ticket and you're wanting to kind of watch that, because I've watched it two or three times and I want to watch it again so I can really absorb the information. Um, 
it's around fi uh, the 50 minute mark of the, uh, I've got it written here, 50 minutes. Um, it's around the 50 minute mark of the immunity um, uh, section. And it's fascinating. Like watch it, watch it, watch it until you really understand it on a level that you're like, wow, that's insane. And maybe, you know, when, when, maybe they'll make these videos available to us and we can share them as well with you, um, the actual footage, because it's, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I know a lot of people bought the tickets, though. It's just that we all work all week, you know, like it's hard to get on. So if you want to listen to that specific bit, 50 minutes on the immunity one. Boom. All right. I <laughs> am gonna, we're going to talk about some new products. I'm going to share my screen. Woo! The part that you, some of you have been just waiting for. Yes! All right, peeps. Pinch out for a bigger view. Pinch <laughs> out, play, slideshow. Whoopsie, this is, this is the end. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Back her up. Oh, there's your, there's your sneak peek, guys. There's your sneak peek. Did you get it? <laughs> All right, so here we are with the new products. Um, we didn't talk about how we were going to share this, but um okay. okay let's just you can just tell us what you want us to do gina or okay, you know what? we're gonna go through the slides yeah all right so this is kind of a, a big thing now because a lot of people are trying to um you know cut down on their use of plastic and um you know for the planet and all that so doTERRA is really pushing the bath bars and i i mean a lot of a lot of um you know health people and planet people <laughs> are oh, it's, a thing. it's a thing i'm sure yes <laughs> that we use bath bars so this is um coming soon so all of these are available for purchase on october 1st yay so yes um well not all of them but you'll see a lot <laughs> of them um but this is um a balanced bath bar so for everybody who loves the balance blend oil ooh, it's my favorite <laughs> Um, this is the balance bath bar fragrance. I mean, frankincense <laughs> to soothe the skin, black spruce and hoewood for cleansing and calming. Um, African black soap helps improve hydration. Sunflower oil softens, moisturize, leaves skin feeling silky smooth. Has anybody oh, used any of the bath bars? Any of our, our guests yet? There's a citrus bliss bath bar. There's, um, a lavender serenity bath bar, I think. So you have a couple different choices if you are trying to cut down on the plastic use. It's lovely. They seem to have like a little bit of a rough element to them as well, yeah. Gina, right? What the is citrus, that? I like it. The citrus bliss is exfoliating. I That's love we, it. We, we use that, we love it. Oh yeah, and then there's also the male, the men's line um, soap. Amavi. Oh, the Amavi. Amavi. The Amavi one is cool because it's so clean that if you wanted to, you could eat it. There's nothing in it that's toxic. Wow. Or nothing Why? in it that will like upset your stomach. Yeah. So if you want to put, like, if your kid is swearing and they need to have some soap in their mouth, you should do the Amavi I bar. I love this. I love this. Thank you. Oh my You're god, welcome. that's so funny. It's my pleasure. I am so excited by that. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, does it who wants to talk about this? <clears throat> oh, I do kind of. Laura, okay, I? So, yes, please. Yeah, because I but am you like, only have two minutes. Okay, I'm like sort of geeking out. I just want to talk about the toothpaste. Okay, so I don't know if you guys do podcasts, but there is a podcast by a person, a woman called Organic Olivia. And she has, she just did a podcast, like just released an episode about toothpaste. And so this, the On Guard toothpaste has hydro, hydroxyapatate in it. And you need to listen to this episode. I think it's called Holy Spit. Anyway, it's all about this ingredient, hydroxyapatate, and why it's so good for your mouth. But basically, like in our mouths, um, we naturally produce hydroxyapatate, and it's all about the remineral, remineralization of our teeth. And so um, I'm so, so excited that they've added this to the On Guard toothpaste just because it's going to just ex like just elevate our toothpaste and our like mouth health even more. It also is fluoride free, which it's always been, and they've added like, hydrated silica, which is like a little rough, like, a, you know, that will help clean the plaque. 
remove the stains. But if you, <laughs> I know that like people don't like going to the dentist, obviously, and we don't really like to talk about our mouth, but as much as we talk about our gut health, we need to be talking about our mouth health because so many nerves that are in our mouths directly connect to our brain. And so yes. it's just as important for our mouths to be healthy and like running smoothly um, as it is for our gut to be in perfect health. So sorry, I nerded out on the <laughs> today. I saw your post. That's why I was like, you only have two minutes, Lauren. Okay, I hope that was short enough and you guys aren't like, what, who is this freak? I love yep. it. So, what was her name, Olivia? Oh, well, her, I don't know what her last name is, but her name is, or her podcast is Organic Olivia. I follow her on um, Instagram as well. She is a wealth of knowledge. It is all scientifically backed up. Love the um, person that she did the Holy Spit um, podcast with is a holistic dentist. Um, and it's nice. really, really, really good. I love it. Thank you so much. Thanks. You're welcome. And it's kind of cool that they added, well, myrrh is an amazing, you know, just yeah. oil, um, just, yeah, worth its weight in gold. And then wintergreen and peppermint. So, you know, people like pepperminty toothpaste, and that was maybe some complaints that people had about the flavor yeah. of toothpaste, right? So, I, I mean, I love the flavor of the On Guard mm -hmm. just alone, but um, it'll be interesting to have some, some minty flavor in there. Well, uh, Dina, do you know, are they actually going to take away the other toothpaste? So this is going to be the only one we have? I believe so. Yeah, I'd oh, imagine. That's usually what happens, yeah. And so again, all this will be available October 1st unless you purchase the kit that has everything. Um, okay, Ooh, this is Beth's this this is is Beth save, yeah. This is me. All right, so Helichrysum Touch, yippee! I do not have the Helichrysum Oil, but I do have the Helichrysum Touch because I bought it in a special package at Christmas with the Serenity Touch and the Balance Touch. Um, and I'm so excited that this is gonna be still available. Do you know what they didn't do this year? They did not um, give us the prices. I know. And the TV. I about that. Um, I guess we'll find these out. This is gonna be a permanent product and I believe it'll be available October 1st. Um, and for those of you who are on my Facebook page, you'll notice that I actually used Helichrysum Touch this week. Um, my five-year-old had a <laughs> hideous accident. He was running after our bloody puppy who escaped and he was barefoot and screaming, running down the street and he stubbed his toe. Blech, it was awful. He literally ripped the end of his toe off and there was blood everywhere, it was horrific. But within 48 hours of applying Helichrysum Touch, we only did, let's see, that night, because it happened in the evening, it was already getting dark. Um, so I applied it then, I applied it the following morning, that evening, so 48 hours, there was four applications of Helichrysum Touch, it is healed. Healed. Like, I'm not talking like slightly better and not, I mean, it's still sore to touch for him, but it is completely healed. Like, there's no open wound or anything. And if you Google helichrysum and its abilities, people call it liquid stitches. It's insane. I wish my friend Leslie was online right now because um, her dog bit her and um, well, caught her, like he was, he was alarmed. He, and he, he, he cut her face and it was pretty bad. She had to have stitches. And it took me about 24 hours to convince her to put oils on her face. I'm like, get them on there. And she's like, the doctor said to do this. And I'm like, okay, sure, do that. But please put helichrysum on your face and you would not believe how powerful this oil is for um, healing tissue. It is insane. I mean, it's also great for balancing emotions. It's great for uh, tension. Um, uh, and it's great for, you know, if you've got any kind of like sunburn or anything, it's wonderful to add to any kind of like after sun product that you may, may have made for yourself. But I cannot tell you how amazing this oil is for open wounds. Would I use it on an open wound? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. So my, yes, my niece um, cut herself, I, we, and I mentioned this story before, on a blade in a ice shaving machine. Yes, yes. Yeah. 
like too down to the bone and she, mm -hmm. and it was bleeding, bleeding. They couldn't get it to stop. My sister-in-law Googled it and she put Hillocrestum on and took her, then took her to the ER and they're like, well, what did you do? You know? And she's like, well, I put this oil on it and they're like, it looks amazing. Like you got the bleeding to stop. So I'm telling you, yeah, this is like first aid, like, you know, one to have for first aid for sure definitely and don't be scared i think i'm i'm still scared about putting oils on an open wound and i don't know why because they are amazing i mean dilute them dilute them absolutely um but helichrism touch is pre-diluted ready to go and yeah it's amazing and, yeah. right and emily wright said that she's put helichrism touch on a tissue and then stuck a tissue up in a bloody nose oh yeah and it stops it I was like, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For bloody noses. Forgot about that. Yeah. We love you, Lauren. Okay. Ooh. New diffuser. Four to five hours, intermittent up to eight to 10 hours, cord free and battery powered with a charging dock. Look how cute it is. It looks like it has like little confetti. It looks okay. pretty. It's eco-friendly, so it was, um, you know, made from recycled materials. So love that ambient warmth, white light, and cyan light options. Ooh, can Sarah, can Sarah clarify? I think this one is only available with the kit. I don't think this is going to be available October first. Am I wrong? I think I heard um, the diffusers are going to be available at the end of October sometime. But yeah, Yay! all of them. Yeah, I think they're all going to be normal okay. products. Okay, just wanted to clarify that because that was a little confusing. All right. This, I think we're all really excited about. This is the first doTERRA humidifier. So, and I'll let Lauren maybe talk about this more. Right. Um, I think there's actually none left. I think they've all sold out because Lauren has bought them all. <laughs> <laughs> I only got two. Yeah, that's what you're telling us. My apartment so, is three rooms. I only got two. <laughs> um, so, it runs for 22 hours. Who's, I'm so excited for this. I'm literally, when they release them, I'm going to email all of my mom friends or text them or whatever and send them this product because I get asked daily in the winter, can I put oils in my humidifier? And the answer is always no, because yeah. that's super dangerous. But now there's this one, which is amazing. It covers um, 270 square feet. It holds almost two liters of water, like almost a half gallon. Um, wow. It, pardon? Wow, wow. Oh, wow, yes, yeah. wow. Um, it's, it's pretty big, like they showed it on the desk mm -hmm. in front of the guy, and know that's so clear. <laughs> and it was at least twice the size as the other ones that they had there. I'm super excited, especially that it runs um, 22 hours, which is just like so brilliant. Because then you don't have to fill it every single day. And it looks, I'm assuming, but it looks because it's tubular, like it will be easy to clean, which is also a super like negative thing about humidifiers that they're like, oh, it's just annoying. So hopefully this will be easy to clean. I'm just gonna assume that and hopefully I won't bite my foot later. Yeah. Um, yeah, it also automatically shuts off, which is great. Um, oh, it does. It says easy to clean. Sweet. So for this <laughs> is a, this is a, I, I just, why would you buy anything else, especially on the East coast in the winter? I mean, especially on the West coast with the dry air. I can't imagine. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren lives in New York people. So she, she lives in the city. So it's a different right, kind of dry. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, an yeah. awful kind of dry. She's a city gal. <laughs> yeah. All right. With a southern accent, it's just a whole thing. Why? <laughs> we What's have to dry from the AC all the time. It's been so hot out here. Ooh. Right, I'm sure. Yeah. Another new diffuser. This is um um like frosted glass. So frosted white glass. Pretty. Um, one to four hours. Lavender light options. So that's cool. Oh. So this is um, yeah, kind of and you know. A nice one. Ooh, okay. So we're real excited about these kits. Um, so basically, Bex, do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about like the? I don't know. Do you feel like talking? 
I actually have to go and run and see what my kid, kids are screaming at. I'm going to be okay. right back. I was just going right. to say, I'm just going to pop off. Okay. Right so back. there's three new kits coming out um, and they have different themes. So this is the mind and mood kit. There is an immunity kit I will show. And then there is also a relief kit for pain. Um, so what's really cool about this is it's, it's like a kind of an LRP thing. So you, so you basically, okay, this would, is what you would get for the first month of this kit. Um, it's $75 a month, but you're getting, and I don't know the, uh, like the price point of, uh, you know, you're getting a deal. I'm sure when they package things together, you always get a deal. But anyway, it's a way to try, um, different products. These are all products for the, um, for your mood and your mind, right? So calming products, um, balance blend, adaptive. So this is the roller and then the supplements, which I love. I, what I love about this um, is that people will get to try different things that they maybe normally wouldn't order, um, but that we talk about all the time that we love. So I'm really excited for people to try new things that maybe they wouldn't normally try. Um, you get this really cool neoprene bag with your first shipment, and then the other two shipments come in like these pouches. Um, did anybody else want to say anything about this? No, but this is a, I, I will just say just real quickly, my mom is a flight attendant, so I'm really super excited to give her this because now she'll get to everything. It's just so easy for travel that they come with these bags. Yeah. And you can just throw everything together and take it, which is brilliant. Yes. Um, then this is the first relief kit that you would receive um, with the deep blue roller, the deep blue polyphenol complex, which if you haven't tried is amazing for pain relief, deep blue rub, um, little sample packs that you can take with you easily. And then this little, um, it's like a stress ball, right? Yeah. It's like a massage ball where you can yeah. massage out your tension. Yeah. My son yeah, you, is really you get the little like, pricks in your neck. You can like line it up against the wall, I bet, and roll your back on it and stuff. I think that would probably be perfect. I just don't know the size of it, but and this is an awesome deal too because the polyphenol complex alone is fifty nine. I think yes. if you were to buy oh, it, oh, that's alone. a great point. Actually, I've got a lot of people who are wanting to try that, but it, with it being so pricey, but right, this kit yeah. would give them a whole collection of things over the over three months. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Gina, Go the ahead. ball's about the size of a tennis ball or okay. like a rocket ball. It's, it's okay. pretty small, but it's kind of solid. So it's designed to, you know, you can roll it on your, roll it on your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the deep blue oil is really expensive too. I, 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 I don't know because I there's know. two different rollers. Um, so yeah, the touch is less expensive, I think. And then the actual roller. Yeah, with just the pure oil, with just oil only. I feel like this is the oil only because it doesn't say touch. So that's yeah. like, I don't know, 50, in the 50s, I think. Yeah. yeah. So that whole, yeah. So that's over $100 worth of stuff for 75. So cool. Thank you, Sarah. And then this is our immunity kit, the first immunity kit. So you get um, the, yeah. the hand soap and a dispenser, which you can't get right now. <laughs> Mm -mm. Which is so fun because and floss, which you can't get right now. Yeah, the floss, and then um, uh, the on guard toothpaste is um, little to go ones, which are great for travel. Um, and then you get the on guard oil, wild orange, and purify, and the sanitizer. So that's a that's a really good deal for sure. Such so, a great concept. Such a great mm -hmm. concept. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the three kits we mm -hmm. talked about, and then. At the top, you see the first things that you would get. And then second level is what you would get on the second shipment. And third level on the bottom is what you would get in the third shipment. So um, it's so cool. It's so cool. Hey, Gina, did you mention while I was off running around that one of the kits, I don't know which one, has a refillable deep blue rub? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I don't remember which one it was. And I don't know if anybody does remember, but I was like, oh. That is brilliant. Well, on yeah. the right, on the right, second level, you see a deep blue rub tube and then you see another little deep blue rub tube. So I bet that's refillable for travel and stuff. How fab. I yeah. Love that. Oh, and then you get the Copaiba. Oh my gosh. So this is, yeah, these are really cool. And it just gives people a, a good place to start. If you really want to tackle your pain relief or you really want to tackle... 
Yeah, and it's a nice price point. I think it's like, what, 75, so 60 PV. This one they did say the price is on, but the other ones they did not. <laughs> I know, that's great, huh? Um, so, I mean, I don't even know yet all the things you get in each of them, but um, we will definitely post that. Oh, it looks like you get the sanitizing mist again with the immunity, and you get like a mouthwash, oh, and the On Guard soft gels, two different oils. Um, Definitely get some sort of body butter because they talked about that a little bit. Mm -hmm. but I can't remember if they said it was scentless or if it. Yes, it's scentless. Yes. Right. So then you can add that. your own, make your own body butter like per application, which is pretty great. Also for the winter. I don't know if y'all, I'm afraid of the winter. <laughs> <laughs> um, also in the mind, um, mind and body one, which is the middle one on this um image here in the bottom set you get um an adaptive like spray room spray yeah, yeah, room spray spray so if ever you know everyone who loves the adaptive scent make it in a room spray now as well as the serenity linen spray which is really good for calming before sleep so those two i know come in that bottom kit as well right yeah and then if you're, I mean, for a lot of people who are doing the, you know, they want to do the 125 PV every month to get the free product. What a wonderful collection of items for 60 PV that you can put on your LRP. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, it's really value for money and it's giving you such a great collection of items for one specific goal. I love it. I love well, it. It's yeah. Really cool. And a lot of times people don't know what to order. So this is really helpful just because yeah yeah for sure and then you get to grow your oil collection yeah for sure and for the people who are working on these types of issues the llv vitamins are a great baseline to just add that on and that's your other 60. To mm -hmm. start yeah with. that is so true that's excellent hey bex i have the pips for all the new products is there a specific product that you want a price point on like the helichrysum or oh yeah go on how much is helichrysum um, wholesale 55. All 50 right. TV. All right. Wow, that's cool. good. Which is a great deal. <laughs> Which because, is like economical. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, for, for maybe the ER visits, it will save you too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and it'll last you forever. Those rollerballs last forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. All right. Oh, this is a cool one. And, and unfortunately, this is only available right now in the kit, but sometimes they bring things back, you know, after they see how people love it. Products of the month or yeah, yeah. special, special things. But um, she described this oil as seductive and flirtatious and radiant. <laughs> so, but this is an oil that you can use as a perfume, as a natural fragrance, and it mixes with the chemistry of your body. So it's going to be a little yeah. different on everybody. Um, high in ketones, supporting healthy looking skin. Balancing really good for, um, sorry, reproduction for skin, for meditation, <laughs> to quiet your mind. And then I have just like a dozen other uses that you can uh -huh. use this product for, from coughs, congestion, cold, um, nervous stomach, influenza, indigestion, nausea, right. cramps, menopause, anxiety, stress, wound healing. Um, it says that, what else I say? Um, <clears throat> it's good for banishing blemishes. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also use it to curb occasional stress. And which is, I mean, I'm really excited about this one because of the coughs and the congestion and the colds, especially with the season we're entering. All of the new limited time offer oils pretty much all cover that, which is very timely for the Definitely. seasons. And um, they also mentioned it was Emily Wright who was talking about this one. Uh, this oil is very, very rare. And um, where we get it from, it, it's not something that is readily available um, and so it's often adulterated because it is available on the essential oil market but there is no way once again that that much pure essential oil can be um, truly found and so it's an incredibly rare oil and often adulterated so you want to be trusting where you can get it from so that's why we can trust doTERRA 
So it's also this oil um, for like the, I follow uh, Robert Tisserand, who's like the leading expert in essential oil safety. He doesn't indicate any known hazards for this. So it's safe to use. I wouldn't use it on, I don't know, children are different, but there's no in counter indications for safety. Also, it is, um, it's an herb relative to the sunflower, daisy, and Roman chamomile. Roman um, chamomile, yeah. Yeah, so it has sweet, fruity, woodsy notes. Sweet, nice. Fruity, yeah, I'm excited. The flirt, yeah. Yeah, um, so only available in the kit for now. Um, another one only available in the kit for now. Um, Tulsi. Yeah, yes. it's Medicine it's also queen of herbs. Yeah. It's also referred to as holy basil. So yeah. sometimes you'll see holy basil oil. It's the same thing. Um, this is also um, sourced from India. And um, it's historically used in Ayurveda as an adaptogen to help counterbalance life stressors. And let's see, let me get my notes. Um, it's really good for easy breathing. You can also use it as a skin oil for spot treatment. You can add it to your facial cleanser. Um, it's a natural adaptogen, which we were talking about earlier. Um, it gives you more patience, giving more adaptability to change, which is so important emotionally right now because y'all know why. Anyway, it also can help normalize blood sugar. You can use it as a breath freshener. And then some other things. It's really good for muscular spasms, respiratory, all respiratory conditions, cramps, menstrual issues, headaches, mental and physical fatigue. Um, you can use it as a supplement. You can do it in a veggie cap um, mm -hmm. to consume it. You can also diffuse it at work or at home for stress soothing. Um, you can also, this is something you can add to your favorite recipes, which they talked a little bit about. So we'll just have to get it and smell it and see what we could apply it to. Um, and then you can also add two drops of this oil to two quarts of iced tea. Mm. It blends well with eucalyptus, juniper berry, lemon, neroli, or rosemary. Nice. With, with those oils specifically, it's best used um, in a diffuser and for safety it has this possible skin sensitivity so you always want to dilute when applying topically okay mm, I'm excited it says that it resembles a cross between basil and clove Ooh. oh spicy thing yeah basil. <clears throat> bergamot mint <laughs> mm. I'm excited okay. about this one it has nothing to do with bergamot. <laughs> yeah, so it's not photosensitive, which is awesome. It's in the mint family, so you don't have to worry about sun sensitivity with this oil. Um, it's calming and relaxing, and it also is uplifting to the spirits. Uh, what else did I say? This scent can help provide a, like a mental boost when you need to wake up in the morning and get out the door or into your living room, you know. Um, it's also really good for skin and bath products. Yeah. Also really good to use during your menstrual, menstrual cycle. Um, let's see what else I said. Respiratory, congestion, sore muscles, digestion, nausea, motivation, and inspiration. And it's also used in perfumery applications. Mm. Um, it yeah. blends well with basil, cedarwood, citrus oils, geranium, lavender, patchouli, rose, vetiver, and lang lang. And then for safety, there's no um, special precautions when using it. Mm. So you don't necessarily have to dilute it, which is kind of nice. Yeah. All right. Not to have to worry about Ooh. that. Ooh, who's excited about these? A lot of people are excited about these. On guard, sanitizing wipes antiseptic wipes. We're all about the wipes these days. So anyway, how amazing will this be? Yay! Sarah, Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Sarah, do you have the price on the wipes by any chance? 
Yeah, so there's these are all together, right, in this package. And then there's going to be some that come individually wrapped. Mm -hmm. um, so I have on the individually wrapped ones are going to be 1075 wholesale with five PV. And you get 20 of them, it looks like. Okay. 20. Yes. Okay. And I'm trying to find the Oops. big package. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh it's yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I don't and know. We're done. And these um, are how much, um, Sarah? Um, I'm trying to find. And these will be available October 1st and forever and ever. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I don't have it for that one, actually. Huh. I'm guessing ten dollars ish. I'm hoping. Um, I did make a couple slides about. Nah, I'm not going to share that. Never mind. Okay. Um, I struggle when I share my screen because I feel like I can't do anything. Like get to the chat. Can't wait to get it. I'm getting rid of my ugly one. Oh, I think she was talking about the um, humidifier. Okay. So hopefully that was helpful. It gives you a little preview. Um, so if you are a, you know, huge oil enthusiast, <laughs> like a lot of us, um, and you want all those special, you know, oils that are not going to be available all the time. Um, what is the price on the kit, you guys? 165. Five. Yeah, that's it. 165 and you get all the oils and then you get um, the first, you get the um, immunity pack, the first, I mean, not the immunity, the mind and um, mind and body pack, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you get that and then all the oils and the white, the wipe, individual wipes, I believe. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. And then you can add things on if you choose. Like you can add the diffusers or the humidifier. You can add the first immunity pack. You could add the first pain relief pack. So those are extras, but you do get the mind and body pack, all the oils and the to-go soap. Way. Oh, and the soap. We got the soap. And the toothpaste. And the toothpaste. And the toothpaste. Yeah. So and helichrysum touch. Oh, and the helichrysum touch. So it is obviously a good, it's a good deal. And you know, if you can swing it and you want all of it. I think it's a savings of about $85 if you buy the whole kit together. Um, they're doing a special um, time offer where if you enroll with that kit, you don't have to pay the extra $35 fee. Yeah, that's cool. For the membership fee. So it's just a straight 165 to enroll, which is awesome. Yeah, for sure. And you mentioned the add-ons. Yes. And there's also a limited time blend roll-on um, together that it's called together. That right? you can add free add of it, right? Yeah. So you get a lot. You do. But um, if anybody has any questions about that or how to order it or, I mean, if you just go into your account, it'll be an option. Like, I think you get, I think you literally go onto your account and it's like the first thing it pops up and it pops up and it pops up. Like yeah. you, you <laughs> would be struggling to not be able to see how to order it. Like I remember when we watched the, I had a couple of girls over and we watched the product reveal and Annie, it was Annie was trying to lift you went. I only went on to doTERRA.com and it was like, blah, 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 blah. Like there was no alternative, like click on that. All right, good. Well, they're making it easy for us. <laughs> All right, Did, um, I think that might be it, unless anyone else has any other, okay. Well, hopefully you guys um, enjoyed okay. that. Some science, some new products. Um, hey, Gina. Yes. I, I did post a question in there for okay. Lauren. Okay. Um, oh, what's up? So I wanted to see if you could explain more why people can't put essential oils in a regular humidifier, which I now am getting my first humidifier ever, which I could have used because <laughs> oh, I was good. in Mammoth and the air was super dry as well as smoky there. Mm. Right. So the, the first reason is that the oils are so powerful that they can break down the plastic. So then you've got, you know, the plastic chemicals in your water and you're diffusing in your house and that's super unsafe just to be breathing that in but then also like it's unsafe because you could have leaks and it could short out and that could be 
a problem as well. Um, the other reason is, is I've read that it can it can break them, that they yeah. won't work because the oils will get down into the motor or into the like hmm. past the filter and it will just break it. Okay. So, you, so since also, they weren't designed and, for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they aren't. They definitely are not. So that humidifiers are expensive. So um, that would definitely be a problem. Obviously, yeah. but I think like the number one thing is that it'll break down the plastic and then you've got the plastic chemicals in the water and you know, you don't need to be breathing in petroleum and stuff like that. Ah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, hey, Lauren, sorry, back onto that then. So I have like an old school one. It's like a, <clears throat> I had it years ago. It's like, it's a wet one. So it, it's like okay. steam. It's a steamer. And then yeah. I put a little, I have a, a, like just a little ceramic tray and I like a, not a ceramic, like an aluminum dish. No, yeah. like a metal dish. And okay. I put my oils on there. So as the steam's coming out, it kind of. Oh, cause it's a warm, it's like a warm well. wet. Yeah. I mean, I think that that's okay because it's not good. There's no transfer of the oils into the basin of the humidifier. No, the oils don't touch the water or anything. It's just, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to sure. I just put my oils around it. So that basically as yeah. the steam's going, it kind of hopefully smells more like that, which it, it does kind of work. It's not yeah, the I most so. efficient way of doing it, but it's like putting them in the shower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. They're still getting yeah. into the air. I think that that would be fine that there's no, like cross contamination issues, no. um, but still, like, wouldn't it be easier to put them into the diffu like into the diffuser humidifier, and then you don't have I don't know. Yeah, and it would probably yeah, defer that would that would disperse into the air mm. better easily. Yeah, Monet wants to know what is the difference between a diffuser and a humidifier. Lauren, okay, <laughs> you guys, like I even know. Um, well, well you are much more than we do. Charlie okay, Brain. that's fair. Charlie Brain. Well, a diffuser can humidify the air a little bit. So if you have it in a bathroom or a, well, if you have it in a small room, then it will have humidifying effects on the air. But the diffuser basins are so small that it's not really going to um, disperse all the dryness out, if that makes sense. The humidifier is meant to do that. It is meant to bring moisture back into a room. And so that is really um, what it's there for. And I guess there are two different kinds. I've only ever had cool mist humidifiers. I do know that there are, obviously, Bex has one, a warm mist one. That's interesting. Um, but the whole point of a humidifier is just to bring uh, Moisture. Wetness, like yeah, moisture. There's the word. Wetness is not it. Back <laughs> into <Well>. the air. <laughs> like for example, the opposite of that would be that in um, the south you get like, or there I get. I don't even know if you would dehumidifiers, so that there's not too much moisture in the air that affects. Yeah. Um, your in your walls and all of that, but like for us, it gets so 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 dry in the winter that like you know you're. No, your nose is bleeding and you're having like all sorts of dry skin issues and it's really bad for your lungs to be dry air all the time. And so we need the humidifiers. Same with, I would imagine there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think. It, yeah. Well, and they used so. to like, I mean, when I used them, it was for when the kids had like dry coughs, you right, know, or like cramps, um, stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's when I remember using them, but, um, yeah. Yeah. And it's not that, it's not that expensive, right? It, I mean, with, you can uh -uh. add it onto the kit for like $48, I think, or something like that. It's actually not very expensive considering diffusers usually are pretty pricey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me see if I have it. Yeah, I was going to buy one off of Amazon for like 50, 45, 50 bucks anyway. Yeah. Um, right. The humidifier is going to be wholesale 54 with zero PV. That's yeah, not. Hey, well, that's, that's just that, that's right a now, super I, deal. Yeah, and if you add it on right now, I, I feel I like it's, it's 46, 47. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Like that. we have like a a fancier humidifier that I got um, two years ago, and it was almost a hundred dollars. Mm, yeah. So. I'm really excited. And it doesn't run 
for 22 hours and I can't put oils in it. So I'm really excited about that. (laughs) I think it's just the differences between how much water is in there. You know, you think of like the brevi and there's just such, you know, such a small amount of water that goes in there. So right. Unless you're filling it up, you know, all the time, you're really not dispersing that much water into the air. Right. Monet would Monet would like us to give us some ideas on my chat. My dog's about to escape. Uh, ideas on oils to put in the humidifier. Kelly, I, I would say breathe would be a great one. Um, eucalyptus. I mean, yeah. lemon. I say lavender. Yeah, you can also do on guard. I like to do, and especially this would be really helpful if you do get sick. This. Um, season hopefully you don't but you could put the flume blend in it which would be great which is frankincense lemon on guard oregano and melaleuca tea tree all of those oils either by themselves or combined are super super helpful for getting rid of um, illness especially like when you're overcome for sure yeah i'm a big believer in breathe and frankincense together yeah. Also, um, cardamom is really good for yeah. all thing like congestion, chest stuff going on. And what have I been doing? Oh, black spruce is really good for respiratory conditions. Listen, I can't like I'm asthmatic, so I need to know what is going to open up my airways. And black spruce is awesome. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> <sighs> Good questions, Monet. You're going to get a prize. Yes. <laughs> She's getting some prizes. She's got to do it. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. We love when you guys ask questions. Definitely. Definitely. Or make comments. All right. All right. Do we? Look at me. I'm all like disheveled. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us. We, we, you know, Bex and I talked and we're like, gosh, should we just, should we push it off? Because we, you know, because we all feel a little discombobulated and we're like, nope, we're going to do it. You know, we have some good stuff to share. And so we hope it was helpful for you guys. Um, We love being here with you. We love our special guests, our research assistant, Lauren Heston from New York area, Sarah, our um, financial advisor with all the prices. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) It takes a village. It It takes a village, I was going to say. It does. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Let us know if you have questions. We're always here for you. Um, We'll post the recording. I'm sure you all are going to want to watch it over and over. And over. And we'll see you next Saturday. Yes. Right? Yes. For more good stuff. (laughs) More good stuff. We've no idea what, but we will figure that out. (laughs) It's going to be great. Oh, I did want to just plug real quick. I don't know when it's happening, so it's kind of a half partial plug. But um, Alicia, our leader in all of this, the lady who is responsible for this madness, in all honesty, (laughs) she created the monsters. Um, She will be doing a live at some point all about the... the, um, I was going to say the foundation. That is not the word. Thank you. The convention the products, her findings, <clears throat> everything that she's learned. And I, for one, will be getting on that call because it will be awesome. So I will um, make sure that I post that as well on my pages. I know Gina will, we'll all do that. So um, if you get chance to be on Alicia's call, um, she will definitely tell you different things that we have because um, she loves the details. So Yeah, and uh, she's going to have some um, different you know, guest speakers as well. I think she's going to do a little series. So we'll Oh yeah, there's going to be one coming up about hormones. So we'll be sure to share that as well. So you guys get access to it. Um, and oh my God, we've lost a <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop recording. Thank